Hello students in this module we will learn about sedimentary rocks let's begin sedimentary rock is known as also known as secondary rocks because this was the second rock to form on the planet now how it has formed as i told you in the last class that after a lot of volcanic eruptions the lava cooled to form igneous rock now, now these igneous rocks were weathered means broken then eroded means it was carried away what happened that the weathered broken rocks were carried away by different agents of erosion and these agents are running water wind glacier and ocean waves so when they carried this material from high area to low area they deposited them in a layer and then the next lot of sediments was brought and then another layer was deposited on the first layer so like this layer upon layer were deposited and these layer the overlying layers compressed the layers below and this led to the hardening of the layers of sediments and they turn into sedimentary rocks so children this is how sedimentary rocks are formed now we'll see the points see the first point weathering and erosion of igneous rock resulted in the formation of sediments and these were carried away by agents of gradation like running water wind river etc now these sediments were deposited layer by layer one over the other now after this the third step is the combined process of compaction and cementation led to the hardening of the rocks and the sediments formed sedimentary rocks so i hope children this is clear let's proceed see the picture first process weathering the rocks were broken then they were carried away by erosion agents of erosion like running water wind glacier and waves then they were deposited in a low lying area and then the when they were deposited layer upon layer the overlying layers compress the lower layers and finally they become cemented this is the last step of cementation so cemented means there are compounds of lime and calcium they fill the gap between the sediments and the sediments become hard to form a sedimentary rock so i hope this is clear let's proceed now sedimentary rocks are also known as secondary rocks because they were the second rock to form on the planet and they are also known as stratified rocks children because they have strata or layers as these rocks have layers or strata so they are known as sedimentary sorry they are known as stratified rocks i hope why they are known as secondary and stratified rock it is clear let's proceed so this is a picture this will show you that how the sedimentary rocks they have layers it's very evident from the picture that they have layers and they have strata so that's why known as sedimentary rocks or stratified rocks and as they were second to second to form on the planet so they are known as secondary rocks also so i hope this is clear now we'll proceed now children some more points written here so the rocks that are formed through deposition and solidification of sediments are sedimentary rocks and these sedimentary rocks are fossils so what are fossils they are dead remains of plants and animals that are trapped in the layers of sedimentary rocks now i'll tell you how it happens see the picture okay i'll take out a picture and that will help you to understand better see in this picture a first stage the first stage you will see the sediments here the sediments the black dots are actually the uh, fossils fossils means dead remains of plants and animal when river flow down it carry sediments with it now some dead remains of plants and animals on the way they get mixed with the sediments and they are also carried away with the sediments so when they come to the low lying area these sediment these fossils the dead remains of plants and animal are mixed with the sediments in the second stage the you can see there's a upper bed and a lower bed of sediments the upper bed is this and below is the lower bed with a brown color 
so in between the upper and lower bed the sediments are act, the fossils are actually trapped so these fossils they get trapped and squeezed and what happens in the third stage these sediments uh, sorry fossils they turn into valuable you can see written below coal oil and natural gas now children i'll use a pen to point out in stage 1 the black you can see are the fossils trapped between the sedimentary uh, sediments in stage 2 you can see this is layer 1 and this is layer 2 and in between the fossils are now getting squeezed and when they are squeezed they undergo chemical uh, changes and after they undergo chemical change in the third stage they turn to valuable coal oil that is petroleum and natural gas so these are the fossil fuel we drill and we take them out we take out petroleum and natural gas and we use them in the industries we take them to the oil refineries and refine them the petroleum is actually very thick it is refined by adding water in the industries in the factories in the oil refineries and then they are turned into petrol diesel kerosene uh, petroleum jelly etc so like this the fossil fuels are formed some more facts about the sedimentary rocks so these are the general points let's see the first point rocks that have formed through deposition and solidification of sediments are sedimentary rocks and the sedimentary rocks they have fossil so i hope this is clear we have already discussed this let us proceed so the common sedimentary rocks are sandstone limestone and shale and the second point layers of sedimentary rocks are arranged according to the density so you need to understand this children sediments also vary in their nature according to density some sediments are very dense so they settle at the bottom and the lighter ones settle above them so i hope this is clear let's proceed see these are the pictures of certain sedimentary rocks this is conglomerate limestone sandstone shale you can also see rock salt and shit so these are the different types of sedimentary rocks now what you will notice children that they vary in their physical appearance yes because they have formed in different circumstances and but they are all formed of sediment so they are all under sedimentary rocks now they also vary in their chemical composition because each rock whether it is conglomerate limestone and all they vary in the mineral content so each rock you can see in the picture they have different minerals so they vary in chemical composition and also in their physical properties that is physical appearance now children how the sedimentary rocks are formed they are formed by the process of lithification let us understand the process of lithification children lithification consists of compaction and cementation so there are two process let us see in compaction when the sediments are brought and settled layer upon layer they become hard this is called compaction but in the next layer uh, sorry next uh, stage the sediments they have gap between them so this gap is filled by the substances like calcium and lime compounds you can see calcium lime and calcium compounds so when this gap is filled they become cemented they become more hard harder and so hard that they turn into a rock this is how sedimentary rocks are formed by the process of compaction and cementation so the combined pro uh, process of compaction and cementation is known as lithification now children see this these are the sediments sediments when deposited they become compact under compaction and then they are they become hard because of the compounds of lime and uh, calcium they fill the gap and this is the process of cementation so all over this is known as lithification the process by which sedimentary rocks are formed so children there are some more uh, points are sedimentary rocks valuable yes they are very much valuable because they give us petroleum and they are also source of several other valuable minerals like aluminum gold iron etc now children let us see how it gives us petroleum i told you that uh, taught you about the 
formation of uh, petroleum oil and coal so there is one more picture this picture we have already seen there is one more picture yes now you can see in this how the coal is formed see swamps 30 million years ago there were a lot of before the dinosaurs many giant pla uh, plants died in the swamps and after these plants died what happened they they decayed sorry these plants they got uh, decayed and un uh, plants and animals also you can see the animals also died and and then finally the rock and dirt they led to the formation of coal so coal is basically formed of plant debris not animal all right coal is basically formed of plant debris so i hope this is clear the formation of coal so this is how sedimentary rocks are valuable and the question here is is coal a sedimentary rock yes i'll use a pen here coal is an organic sedimentary rock now children will uh, learn further that there are types different types of sedimentary rocks and coal comes in the category of organic sedimentary rocks the next topic is types of sedimentary rocks so children there are three types of sedimentary rocks mechanically formed sedimentary rocks organically formed sedimentary rocks and chemically formed sedimentary rocks so in three different ways mechanically means simply the agents of erosion and weathering they bring the sediments deposit layer by layer and due to compaction they formed uh, they form mechanically form sedimentary rocks in case of organic uh, form here the living materials like dead remains of plants and animals are involved in the process so they are called organically formed sedimentary rocks and the third one that is chemically formed in this uh, type of sedimentary rock chemicals or chemical changes are involved so these are called chemically formed sedimentary rocks but children always remember all these three types of sedimentary rocks uh, have sediments as well as other components and that's why they vary in nature and that's why they are divided into three different categories i hope this is clear let's proceed so the first one is here mechanically formed sedimentary rock so the first one mechanically formed sedimentary rocks we'll learn see the points here mechanically formed sedimentary rocks they are also called fragmental or clastic rocks uh, children i'll use a pen clastic why they are called clastic rocks because compounds of lime and calcium are involved in cementation and compaction process so they are called clastic rocks now the third point dynamic agents like river glacier sea waves and winds erode these rocks now the next point sediments are transported and deposited in low lying areas children i have already told you about this that how the sediments are brought and then then they undergo the process of uh, compaction and cementation which is known as lithification now below uh, some examples are given example of sandstone it is a rock made up of well rounded grains of quartz cemented together so this rock sandstone contain which mineral quartz quartz they have rounded grains and they cement together to form sandstone the next example is of shale shale is a rock made up of very small flat grains of clay and mica cemented together so can you see how sandstone is different from shale sandstone has quartz and shale has clay and mica similarly conglomerate it has variety of minerals rocks cemented together so like this children these all rocks vary in their nature because of the different minerals present in them but all of these rocks are formed due to mechanical process so these are mechanically formed sedimentary rocks i hope this is clear so next proceed to the chemically formed sedimentary rocks so i'll use a pointer so chemically formed sedimentary rocks how they are formed they are formed when water carry minerals evaporates and leave the minerals behind they are identified by minerals present and uh, for uh, example halite now children see uh, chemicals are mixed with water 
सपोज फॉर अ लेक अ लेक हैज वॉटर एंड द वॉटर विल ई वैपोरेट बट द मिनरल्स विच आर डिजॉल्व इन द लेक द सोल्ट विच विल रिमेन देयर ओनली सो लाइक दिस ड्यू टू इवेपोरेशन द सोल्ट विल रिमेन द मिनरल्स विल रिमेन एंड दे विल हार्डन टू बिकम अ सेडिमेंट्री रॉक सो दिस मिनरल्स विल बी मिक्स विद सेडिमेंट्स ऑल्सो and they will harden to form sedimentary rocks by chemicals involved in it so this is chemically formed sedimentary rocks let's proceed now the third one is organically formed sedimentary rocks now children organically means living beings are involved let's see the points made up of skeletons and shell of sea animal first point shell of sea animal so what happens these remains the remains means remains dead remains of the uh, plants and animals they collect in the ocean floor and eventually become cemented together now example is coal is a type of organic sedimentary rock that is formed when decomposed plant material is buried beneath sediment and is changed by increased heat and temperature how it is changed this fossil they turn to coal they become a fuel which is called coal is also known as a fossil fuel i hope children this is clear these are the types of different types of sedimentary rocks now to make your understanding more clear i'll i have put some examples see the first one clastic clastic means children always clastic means mechanically formed sedimentary rocks fine because they involve uh, the cementation process involve calcium and lime so example is conglomerate sandstone and shale they are all formed mechanically so these are mechanically formed sedimentary rocks now the second is organically formed coal it involves marine plants then fossiliferous limestone this limestone has fossils either of animals or plants so they have organic matter in them with the sediments so they are organically formed sedimentary rocks the third one is chemically formed limestone or salt rock salt so they these two have chemicals means the minerals were mixed in water the water got evaporated so the minerals mixed with the sediments and formed chemically formed sedimentary rocks children you can see here also there is a limestone here also there is a limestone but this limestone has fossils so this is under organic because this limestone has organic matter in it so it is organic uh, organically formed sedimentary rock but this limestone it doesn't have fossil so this is only chemically formed uh, limestone chemically formed sedimentary rock i hope this is clear let's proceed see children to make your understanding uh, better i have uh, put up one more chart here you can see two types of sedimentary rocks clastic and non clastic i have i have been telling you children that clastic means mechanically formed sedimentary rocks and non clastic means chemically and biologically means organically formed sedimentary rocks so this is how they differ in clastic the mechanically it is formed by calcium and lime whereas in non clastic it is formed due to the presence of chemicals and organic matter so i hope children the difference is clear the types of sedimentary rocks and how they are formed and how the clastic and non clastic rocks vary so the last topic of the day is the characteristics of sedimentary rocks so whatever whatever we have learned till today uh, till now we understand that these sedimentary rocks are formed by consolidation means collection and compaction of sediments they have layers or strata and they also contain sorry they also contain fossil and the last point they become hard when the cementation the lithification process happens they become hard so children that's all for today uh, thank you very much